lovely people welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be learning how to cut and sew a bubu gown these are the required measurements that will be needed for this tutorial i went ahead and folded my fabric into four i used two yards of fabric i folded my fabric into four i marked my shoulder measurement divided by four and then i'll be adding my sleeve length measurements after that, I will be slanting my shoulder by one inch. I'll go ahead and mark my right sleeve measurement divide by two. I'll be adding two and a half inch for ease. It depends on how wide you want yours to be. And then I'll be adding to one inch for sewing allowance. You can go below or above the 2.5 inch, then you will now add your one inch for sewing allowance. I will go ahead and mark my hip line measurements. I'll be marking my hip line measurements. Then I'll be marking my hip line measurement. From there, I will get my round hip circumference. I will get my hip circumference divided by four. I will add one and a half inch for ease. It depends on how wide you want yours to be. You can decide not to use the one and a half inch that I used there. You can use two inches, two and a half inches. It depends on what you want. I added one inch for ease. I added sorry I added one inch for sewing allowance making it 2.5 inch then I'll be marking the total I will measure the total now then I'll place it at the upper part I will mark then after that I will be minusing one inch from it is totally optional you can decide not to remove the one inch and make everything equal from up to bottom it depends on what you want I will go ahead and connect the point so after that I will be marking my gown length measurements I'll go ahead, I'll add extra two inches for folding the down part. I will take the total me measurement here and then I'll be placing it at the down part, the down area. After that, I'll connect my points. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Because there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut. We'll you go over to the neckline. I'll be measuring 3.5 inch neck, neck width and 1 inch neck depth. After that, I will start, I will go ahead and cut it out. Curve here. Remember to curve here. I will be removing one piece from it. That one will serve as the back piece. And this one will serve as the front piece. 
change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate, think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. I'll be marking 8.5 each. You can decide to go higher. Like, you can decide to go higher. That is 7.5. 18 inch depends on what you want and then i will mark half inch here i will mark half inch here because i want the design at the front to be one inch wide so this is on fold i will mark half inch then i'll connect to the neckline like this to the shoulder line well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work. So this is the front piece. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. This is the front piece. In each of us. Trust your gut. So this is the pocket. It's 10 by 8 inches. This is for the design. You can make us to be longer than 30 inches or 35 inches depends if you have enough fabric the for the pocket and sleeve is 30 by 2 inches the neck design is 30 by 3 inches sleeve the neck and then for the neck one i folded into two after ironing a gun stay I'll be marking where I'll be placing my pocket. This is the front piece. I'll be marking where I'll be placing my pocket. It's 22 inches by 2.5 inches. So I'll be attaching the black material to the pocket. I'll be placing front and back. And then I'll flip the design to the front side of the pocket then i went ahead to attach the pocket so i will go ahead and join the shoulders then after joining the shoulder attaching the black material to the sleeve the front and the back and then i'll flip it to the front this is it after attaching it to the sleeve then i'll go ahead and attach the black material the neckline you can see that the black material is folded then you attach it round so after attaching it round i'll go ahead and notch and give a small very small notch here it will last very well then i'll do it like this and then flip it like this i'll go ahead and stitch it at the back part like this I will arrange this very well and then I will stitch it. So after stitching it, this is what you have. I will go ahead and join this side and then fold the down part. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.